Albert Bassi Akman, Akwaibom Northeast. Mr. President, let me equally thank our two distinguished colleagues for sponsoring this, um, the amendment of this bill. And also commend you, Mr. President, and the leadership of the eight, um, of the eight Senate, of the ninth um, Senate, sorry, uh, for, their, for their focus, Mr. President. Having looked at um, the trend of events since we were sworn in, and then the amendment of the PSC Act, the uh, processing of the finance bill, and here the return of the budget to January to December, and here the Public uh, Procurement Act. Mr. President, I believe that the Ninth Senate has demonstrated its commitment towards the untangling of, uh, of those clocks that actually try to hinder the, um, our progress as, um, as a nation. Mr. President, in my elementary economics, it is said that uh, government is the biggest uh, spender in any um, economy and also the main driver of that um, economy. And the, uh, the foundation of government spending has, has to do with a lot on the procurement uh, process. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I believe that um, when this bill, when this law was first uh, enacted in 2007, that was the best we could get at that point in, in time. But over time, we have implemented it, and it is a function and a duty and a responsibility of the National uh, Assembly to review these laws on the basis of uh, the, um, the experiences of its uh, implementation. Mr. the President, this amendment is apt, extremely very timely, because if by the special grace of God we are able to achieve the, um, the uh, January to December budget uh, year, of course, what we are going to achieve under your able uh, leadership, Mr. The President, what we need to drive that budget is the, uh, is the procurement. Having in mind that we must take into consideration the number of months in a year that we have the rainy seasons, and I call it the dry uh, season. So I, I believe very strongly, Mr. President, that uh, this, should, this amendment should be fast-tracked, that if we are able to, if we're able to deliver the PSC Act amendment, and we are coming in with the finance uh, bill and pass it into law and assisted by Mr. President, and then we're able to put in place an appropriate procurement uh, act, then we are good to go as a nation. Mr. President, I, I, I want to say that um, I've, I've read through the gazetted uh, bill and the lead debate by the chairman of public uh, procurement that the contents, those sections that have to be amended, if it's properly uh, articulated, will actually add value to especially, most especially the small and medium scale uh, sector, which is where uh, most of the Nigerian uh, businesses uh, uh, operate. We must do everything possible to ensure that we protect, we protect this uh, interest. Mr. President, we must also look into the issue of uh, increased mobilization, Mr. President. We must be able to dimension between a construction procurement and a supply procurement. For a supply procurement, you can pay as much as 70% if it's fully backed up by a bank guarantee. Because the supply, pro the supply procurement it could be through a letter of, uh, of credit. A letter of credit is more or less like a bank uh, guarantee. So we must be able to look at it at that point in, in time because I cannot be giving you 30% mobilization to go and, so, and buy me a, a, a hill of how much can you buy? But if I be, if, 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 if we back it up with an appropriate bank, uh, irrevocable bank uh, guarantee and a performance uh, bond, Mr. President, it will also equally add, add a lot of value. Mr. President, we must also look, this procurement amendment must also look into the issue of contract splitting. Contract splitting. Because if you take an agency like NDDC, for example, I mean of NDDC contracts has gone to the French Executive uh, Council, for example, but they sit down there and they work under the threshold of 249 uh, million and award over 10, 18 uh, contracts under one. So you must also look into the issue of contract splitting because the Procurement Act and the law have taken into consideration the level of the threshold of authority it is. It is to, to add value to the procurement uh, process. So 
this amendment must also look into it uh, uh, squarely. Mr. President, in the oil and gas sector, a pro to procure a, 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 a contract might take up to two or three years. So this act must also be able to sit down and we dimension it that as okay as we are bringing in military security into the procurement uh, act, we must also look at the critical nature and the role that all the oil and gas sector plays in our economy and try to also ensure that you cannot procure a project for three uh, years due to interest of uh, stakeholders. We must also address it. So there are certain basic fundamental uh, issues that we must address in this. And I must commend your lead debate, Chairman of Public Procurement, because the issue of putting in place a price mechanism, because you will see in two different agencies procurement a project. This one by the HELOC for 10, 10 Naira. The other agency will buy the same HELOC for 30 uh, now, I think these are things we can, these acts are, Mr. President, and I must comment your, your, your leadership. And I want to urge my, um, my colleagues that a time has come, we are the verge of um, turning things around in this country, that the way we are going as the Ninth Senate will write a name in go when the time comes. I commend you, I commend your leadership, Mr. President. Thank you.